As for Spurs, Luis, they lost to Wolves. Just an Adama Traore goal. The difference right now in this one. Conte coming back next week. Probably about the right time for them as well. I mean, it's just Tottenham, is it? Let, let, I'm just going to say this. Julian Lopetegui's Wolves are the perfect type of uh, opponent. Sorry, Tottenham are the perfect opponent for Julian Lopetegui and Wolves because they're very patient, very careful. And, and even though it hasn't been going that well for Julian Lopetegui and Wolverhampton, Tottenham is kind of the best recipe at home. And that's exactly what happened. Speaking, Tottenham had the most shots, the most possession. But again, when you just rely on Harry Kane and human son and you have a defensive unit from a Julian Lopetegui squad, then that's what's going to happen. And that goal, by the way, it was a uh, Raul Jimenez smash, I believe. It rebounded on the keeper and Adam Atraora just like, you know, uh, thought, oh, I'm just going to try and smash it and have volley it. And boom, it went and won nothing. It happened to Wolverhampton. So that's a very big win for them because they're trying to separate themselves from the bottom three. But Tottenham, my goodness. I mean, listen, I don't know what to tell you. Like, it's just you need these victories to try and get something because obviously the most important for you uh, as a Spurs fan is to get European football. And that's not happening. And they need so much more uh, once again, which is amazing because we keep saying that. But uh, I think Ben Tancourt is a massive absence, of course. And, and, and Wolves uh, are happy with those three points because getting away from the relegation zone is very important for them. Yeah, obviously they hit the crossbar a couple of times, did Spurs, mm. but they're going to have to feel, Shaka, that this is a massive opportunity lost, given the fact that Newcastle lost, and there is going to be that battle for fourth spot this season. I think if we, I think pretty much everyone agrees on the top three, whichever way it shapes up, being the two Manchester sides and Arsenal, and that fourth spot, with it being really up for grabs and no side fighting for it, looking totally convincing right now, this could be a game they look at and think, oh, should have done better here. Yeah, I, th I think you're being very kind and saying no side looking totally convincing there, Kay. In, in all honesty, <laughs> listen, the, the, the top three, those three are playing good football. Everybody else is just, let's try to figure this out. Imagine we're talking about a top three race that includes Newcastle, who can't score goals. Spurs, who uh, are, 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 Spurs who are awful. Spurs, I, at, at times you watch Spurs and, and, and they are just, so unconvincing and then they produce a performance and a result well more result um than, than the performance as, as they did uh, against chelsea imagine we're talking about liverpool being in the in the top four race liverpool i i i, I can't tell you when last i've seen a liverpool team look this unconvincing yet liverpool are in with a shout to finishing in in in, in the top four and, and that speaks to that speaks to the drop off between third and a very tight fourth, fifth and, 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 and sixth. I, for, for long spells in this Spurs Wolves game, this just looked like a nil-nil. Wolves are a team that have struggled to score goals themselves. Um, Diego Costa has to, has, to, has to be stretched off and you just figure that, that this is going to be a nil-nil as, as, as we've seen far too often with, with Wolves and way too often with, with Spurs as, as, as well. And then all of a sudden, Traore pops up and, and, and gets the goal. Players can maybe call themselves un, unlucky, but at times, I thought some of their finishing was a little bit disappointing. I remember one point, they, they were sawn just about 15 yards out, and I thought, in seasons gone by, you could you would put your mortgage on that hit in the back of the net. But he somehow skied it over the crossbar, and that just kind of sums up... Um, a Spurs team that, as Alami said, far too reliant on Son and Kane in the past. And once they are slightly off the boil, a team that just has absolutely no identity. And here we are talking about um, potential Champions League representatives looking anything but decent team. Thanks so much for watching ESPN on YouTube. And for more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for premium content and live streaming, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.